The banking regulator APRA is sounding the alarm over falling lending standards. APRA points to a rise in loans to borrowers with small deposits, with one leading analyst warning we're seeing the same conditions now in Australia that resulted in the global financial crisis five years ago. But the banks deny standards are slipping, saying any attempt to toughen lending conditions will push first home buyers out of the market. Neil Woolridge reports. Low interest rates, several years of negligible house price growth and a backlog of first-time buyers itching to get into the property market. They're the perfect conditions for a housing bubble. And of course the global financial crisis was really created when the interest rates in the US went from their low levels to higher levels. But the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority is trying to head the banks off at the pass before any real trouble strikes. In a new report, the banking regulator says a sustained low interest rate environment poses further risk to lending standards, so lenders need to ensure that new borrowers are able to service debt and afford higher repayments when interest rates rise. Most uh, financial institutions would be using standard interest rate buffers, so instead of assessing people at low rates, you know, sub 5%, they would be assessing them more in line with the industry averages, which have been around about 7.5%. Of most concern are those borrowers who have little of their own savings behind them, typically first home buyers. APRA notes there's been a steady rise in loans with a loan to property value ratio above 90% from around 10% of home loans in 2011 to 13.5% today. So what that creates is, is a position where you could see going forward, as interest rates begin to move up, um, some strain on um, defaults. But the banking industry says there's no need for Australia to go down the same path as New Zealand, which recently imposed limits on banks lending to customers with a high LVR. I think in Australia we're in a very different situation at the moment. We're in a very low credit growth environment. Property prices are steadily on the rise, but they have been uh, at reasonably low levels for a, for a long period of time. And we need to make sure that we don't put in place any measures uh, that are unnecessary that actually make it difficult for some people to get mortgages. The sorts of loans that APRA has raised concern about are exactly the sorts of loans that first home buyers need to be able to get into the market. But banking analyst Martin North warns there's been a resurgence lately of non-conforming lenders who lend to customers that the regular banks might reject. If it grows too quickly and too fast, it will uh, potentially destabilise the overall marketplace, but it will also have an upward pressure on house prices, which are already very high. The question then will be, will the banks ease back on their credit controls? Financial consultant Scott Hamilton says another concern is the rise of institutions that fall outside of APRA regulation. And that's a real concern, and we've seen a couple of large examples where they've gone under and put real pressure on local communities. And so the banks themselves are sort of saying, well, you know, we need to actually start to look at our own book and make sure that we have structures and processes in place so that we don't go down that path. The Australian Bankers Association says there's no evidence of system-wide problems, but it will be a tough and competitive lending market for some time to come.